What is up, Boochieful people? Today I am here with a new video, man. Something we're gonna do something a little bit different, all right? We're going to be doing an unboxing and review on the Nike Air Monarch. Yeah, I'm gonna y'all is like, what? Why? Why are you doing that? The reason why is because with the whole fashion, like chunky soles, dad shoes, whatever it is, that's why. The Nike Air Monarch, man, one of Nike's best selling shoes, hands down. The originator of dad shoes, of clunky soles, chunky soles, and just a shoe where it's like, what are those? You know what I mean? So, yeah, let's break it down. And I'm going to add more as to why we are doing this. Start off with the box. You get an original OG orange box. Nothing special. I got the same box with my Nike Fly Knits Multicolor with a tag. I got a size 9. These were actually sold out in like two different finish lines I tried to go to. Like I finally got one. They're like, yeah, it's the last pair, dude, size 9. I'm actually usually a 9 half, but with the whole wide version, it runs big. I mean, if your foot is wide, maybe just go with your regular size. But I, I got I got a narrow foot, so or regular size foot, so I, I want to size down. Well, half size down because I'm a 9 half. So with the wide 4E, 4E meaning you got the wide version. I think D is the regular width. Macy's tag because I got it at my finish line here in Macy's uh, retail price at $65 if you guys can catch that I actually got it for cheaper uh, you can definitely get it cheaper if not 65 is the most you'll pay for it. so yeah let's get into it opening the box you get regular tissue paper white tissue paper nothing else you get the left pair coming out right now going in more you got the right pair coming out nothing else no extra shoelaces, which is unfortunate for me because as I said, I got the last pair. So this one was on display and I got a defect on the laces. It's all good though, because guess what? It's a Nike Monarch. That's the thing about this shoe, man. The reason why we're doing this video is because with the whole Balenciaga triple S's and the Gucci Rython, you know, people are going crazy for it. This is not a good, a great, but a perfect alternative, man. So you guys should definitely pick this up because look how clean this actually is. It's actually really nice and comfortable. I did try them up. Let's break it down. On the outer side, you get air written right here with full length air written right here, AKA meaning you got full air throughout the whole shoe. On the bottom side, you have a push button, just like the Nike Dunks or Nike SBs and a rugged, rigged out um, bottom sole. And the whole chunky sole, just like the waves, the shape and everything, fabulous. <laughs> at the tip of the shoe, the toe, you got a Nike swoosh. You also got a Nike swoosh at the top of the toe box and air holes, air vents, whatever y'all want to call it, at certain parts of the shoe. Really, what you see on this side, you'll see on this side, except for the air part of full length here. You get a silver swoosh for Nike. And on the back, you get an air in silver also. No 3M anywhere on the shoe. You got a pull tab with um, navy lines and the tongue saying Air Monarch. And it has a grayish background compared to the whole shoe being white and a mesh tongue. Can you catch that? Yes. The inside um, it has a size tag, Air Monarch. It says full length air right here in the middle on the silver part and 4E, 4E being the wide version of the shoe. And then you have your shoe size tag. Yep, size 9, blah blah blah, just really basic what you see on other Nike shoes. And the shoe is leather, if we can see that, stitching is alright, padding is really thick so comfortable all around. Other than that, that is the whole shoe, this shoe is actually really dope, I like it. It's so, it's actually a clean silhouette. Really classic and original. Nike is the original dad chunky shoe thing. Yeah, with Balenciaga and Gucci doing their own look with the chunky soles, I definitely think you should probably get these first, or not probably, but most likely get these first. And like with the shoe being what it is, with the price and stuff, you wouldn't really care about like wearing it or getting it damaged or stained or dirty, or whatever, etc. So that's that's a plus side. Instead of being like $900 dirty because I went to Balenciaga uh, I actually wanted to get a pair and they told me the price 900 I had to see one they brought one out from the back there's a line there's a wait for it they're saying like oh it's three months there's a three month wait so if you want to put your name on the list I'm like damn man I'm gonna let you guys hold 900 bucks for three months the fact that the shoe is distressed and I don't mind I know distress means like worn out and everything it's just that the price and to a content 
for it. I want to spend that much for a shoe that's, you know. But I definitely found a better alternative. This is perfect. It is comfortable. The Balenciaga Triple S's are heavy. Uh, they didn't let me try it on because they didn't have my size in. It was like a 38, I'm um, a 42 or 41 in that. But yeah, dude, that thing was heavy and I was like, dang. Am I going to spend 900 bucks for ankle weights? I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is all I got to show to you for now. More videos coming soon. Stay tuned. Leave a like, subscribe, and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Belated. Happy New Year's coming up, and I'll see you guys again. Oh, by the way, check out this on foot of it on. And yeah. Okay.